have a Harris Will of the Wild Tiny Leader deck playing 25 main deck land or 24 lands in a box diamond. Yeah. We've got five basics, your pretty standard shock fetch package. You got Grave of the Burn Willows, Raging Ravine, Command Tower for thick Crows and Verse for fixing, Horizon Canopy, both yeah. fixes, and it's a good late game engine. We'll get to that later. You've got a Maze of Aith, a Wasteland, and a Ghost Quarter. Um, same thing with the fetch, with the uh, Cycle Lands, they're a good late game engine. Um, so the real crux of this deck is you're playing pretty much a land-based engine deck. You got Crucible of the Worlds to get lands back, Exploration lets you play extra lands. Corn of Greed, whenever you play a land, you draw a card. We're playing 25, so we oh, yeah. so we break the break the symmetry on Horn of Greed. Life from the Loam lets you get back to cycle lands, so you can start burning through your deck real quick. We've got a seismic so you can kill them that way sometimes. So a lot of the times you just kill them with Thespian Stage Dark Caps, which you can recur pretty easily off either Loam or Crucible of Worlds. Your creature package is just a bunch of good defensive creatures, more recursion off Eternal Witness, Knight of the Reliquary helps you find Thespian Stage Dark Depths. For Dig, we have a Sylvan Scrying, a Sylvan Library, and a Light Tutor, and a Faithless Looting, just lets you burn through your deck a little faster. A lot of the parts are pretty replaceable outside of these five right here, so discarding to something like Faithless Looting is really kind of negligible. Uh, We've got Nostalgic Dreams. We've got a Nostalgic Dreams and a Phyrexian Noctis Survival for Recursion. So if they get rid of something like Horn of Greed of Crucible or Solitary Confinement, you can get it back. It's pretty easy to lock them out with Solitary Confinement. You can just Crucible plus Horn of Greed or something like that, just draw your deck and then you'll eventually kill them this way. Um, removal, we have the Rolling Earthquake of Fiery Justice, Mizium Mortar, Source to Flash Airs, Council's Judge. Judgment, Seismic Assault, and Pinch, Devastating Dreams, which is probably the best card in the deck. Wow. You're playing 25 lands, so sacrificing your lands is kind of negligible. Okay. It's normally just, you normally just like discard your hand to make your opponent sack everything, but with the recursion on something like Crucible or Life from the Loom, it's not hard to get lands back. You're more likely to make your land drops in the late game after casting a Devastating Dreams, so it's a lot easier for you to recover than your opponent. Alright. And the sideboard, we have three more lands. We've got a Kajoran Outpost for grindy matchups. We have a Glacial Chasm for pretty much aggressive matchups. You can get the Glacial Chasm Crucible lock going, mm -hmm. where you just sack Glacial Chasm and you're up, keep replay it. So that's just like another tool against an aggressive red deck. Same thing with four Firewalker to beat aggressive red decks. Tectonic Edge just punishes people that are playing a lot of non-basics. For the really, really grindy matchups, you have a Bow of Nylea. You normally just get on the deck from the plane. <laughs> um, Choke is just good against all the blue decks, so it's Pyroblast. I guess decks that are playing a lot of removal that sometimes you have to kill them with creatures. You've got a Sylvan Safekeeper. So, just like protecting a Merit Lage or a Tarn of Wafer, something is pretty good. Full Breach is just a good, versatile card. Can destroy an artifact, an enchantment, or both. And then you've got Porphyry Nodes against the aggressive decks. Um, this card's normally just like a two for one, and it can't play creatures for two turns, so it gives you some time to get the game set up, all that kind of stuff. So, what kind of decks do you want to go against? What kind of decks do you not want to go against? Uh, you don't want to go against combo decks that aren't playing creatures. So, like, if someone power artifacts up a. Um, Power, power artifacts up a monolith, that's like pretty scary. Um, you really just want to play against all the creature decks. Um, you know, with cards like Rolling Earthquake, Devastating Dreams, um, even Solitary Confinement, it's really, really hard for them to kill you with creatures. So, pretty much you're just like trying to attack the format from an angle where everybody is probably trying to play creatures. So, you find the deck to be pretty consistent? It's very, very consistent just because there's so much redundancy. Um, pretty much if you can make it to about turn five or six alive and in decent shape, you're normally going to start running away with the game. Alright, well thank you very much. I appreciate it. Take care.